Hello everyone, today we're going to make an animation for a bow. If you don't have a bow to animate, I suggest you check the description where there will be links to tutorials where I both create the bow mesh and even create a rig for it. Before we begin, I just want to say that this video might be a bit tougher to follow along if you've never animated before. If you follow along step by step, there shouldn't be any major issues that occur, but I will say that there are a lot of small tweaks that I will do to make the animation look smoother or maybe give more impact on the animation and it might be difficult for me to explain why I do these small changes but I will do my best. So to start off we will head over to the animation tab since we will get a better view for animating. Click new to add a new animation. We can name it bow shoot. And now we are ready to start animating. So we would like this to be our starting pose. And we can do that by right clicking the bone with the string bone and then pressing I and then location. The keyframe we just inserted is represented by the yellow dot on the timeline, which for us right now is the location of a bone since we clicked location after pressing I. If we move down the timeline to frame 40, this is where I want my bow to be fully drawn. So I will pull back the string by selecting the string bone then pressing G and Y to move the bone along the Y axis. When we got a fully drawn pose that we like, we will press I and location. Now we got a really simple draw animation. Very often you want animations to loop, not always, but in my experience very frequently. And to create a perfect loop animation is by having the first and last frame be the exact same pose. You can do this by selecting the string bone, then pressing Ctrl C on the first pose, and then Ctrl V on the frame where we want the animation to loop. And now onto the next segment. This is where the tweaks come in that I mentioned earlier. This part is important because it can be applied not only to bow animations, but all the animations you'll ever create. This is usually where you use your own world experience or look at reference videos to get an idea on the most important poses to make an animation feel like it has some weight to it. Right now there are three big reasons why something feels off about our animation and it's important to develop some kind of sense for what doesn't fit in or what needs to be added to make a good animation. The first thing is when you draw a bow it gets heavier the further back you draw the bow. To fix this, we will add more keyframes before the fully drawn keyframe at frame 40. And this will make it, uh, it uh, it's gonna feel like it gets heavier the further back we pull the string. The second thing is that when the string is released, it should move really quick to launch an arrow, which our doesn't. We will fix this by moving the concerning keyframes closer to each other to give the string a faster movement. And the third thing is that there is no indication of force when the arrow has left the string. And we will fix this by adding a little wiggle animation at the end. So now we want to add some frames before the bow is fully drawn. We can go ahead and go to frame 40. Here we're going to press Ctrl C and then go to frame 30. And then press Ctrl V and I and insert location. If we play the animation, we can now see that we have a pause between frame 30 and 40. We now want to pull the string a tiny bit forward and press I and location. Next up is to make the string move faster when we let go of it. I'm going to the last frame and copy the pose, then paste it at frame 50 and insert keyframe as location and play the animation and now it feels faster. We can now move this a bit forward and insert a keyframe as location and then we'll go to frame 55 and bring the string back and insert keyframe as location. And now I would say that the animation looks okay but we can still tweak things to make the bow animation feel a lot, a lot more responsive. 
It still feels a little bit uh, slow on release, so we're going to make it a bit more unconventional with the frames for a tutorial, but it, it will do. I'm going to right click on the keyframe and then press G to move it. And I'm going to place it at something like frame 47 or 48, I think. And this is the end result. I think it turned out great, and I believe that this would look great in a game. So I tried. <laughs> Zoom. Zoom. Noise. All of these trees are a preview of my upcoming asset pack for Unity. If you're interested, you can check in on my channel once in a while, and the pack will be linked in the description when it's out. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.